Hello, I'm Sam Castor, and in this segment, I'm going to share with you the science that validates why the molecule ACE Manin has become known as nature's most powerful immune supporting molecule. This segment is entitled ACE Manin 101. It may not surprise you to know that the molecule ACE Manin actually comes from the aloe vera plant which of course is the cornerstone of ancient medicine in almost every culture of the world. There was something in the fresh gel of aloe vera that caused an immune response unlike anything else in nature. It was completely non-toxic and it became known as the healing plant. Well, in the 1960s, uh, industry decided they would commercialize the amazing reputation of aloe vera and began uh, making aloe vera products like hair care products and skin care products and creams and lotions. And of course, every one of them promoted the miracle of aloe is now in our product. Here's the problem. The miracle of aloe never showed up in any of the products. In fact, researchers determined that what existed in the gel did not exist in any of the products. And so a group of investors in the early 1980s went to Southwestern Medical School in Dallas, Texas and said, we'd like to discover and stabilize the molecule that is in fresh aloe vera gel that for whatever reason doesn't show up in any of these products. And if we can discover it and stabilize it, we think we can file patents and commercialize an amazing technology. And that's exactly what they did. Researchers after uh, months and months of research determined that the immune modulating activity from aloe vera gel came from a long chain carbohydrate or polysaccharide that they named Ace Manin. And the name Ace Manin came from an abbreviated version of its chemical structure. It's a dispersed beta 1, 4 acetylated manin, which acetylated manin got shortened to Ace Manin. The other thing that they realized is this was a very unique polysaccharide in nature. Poly means many, saccharide means sugar, so it was a long chain sugar. But its predominant sugar is a sugar called mannose. Now there's about 200 sugars in nature, but mannose by far is the most important in human physiology. It's absolutely essential for the proper structure function of every cell in the human body. Okay, so now the researchers had discovered the molecule. They found a way to stabilize it for the very first time and the investors created a publicly traded company called Carrington Laboratories. They raised tens of millions of dollars to commercialize the industry's first stabilized Ace Man in technology. They filed and received over 130 patents worldwide on the unique processing and uses of this incredible molecule. Uh, it became the only stabilized aloe vera product, Ace Man in product on the market. Uh, in the 1980s, Carrington hired a Dr. Santiago Rodriguez, an organic chemist, who developed the unique processing technologies for commercializing the world's first Ace Manin products. Now, they looked at the various vertical markets within healthcare uh, to determine where would Ace Manin best fit. And of course, the first thing that they commercialized is topical wound care under the name of Kerosene Wound Gel. And uh, it was advanced topical wound care because, again, of the mechanism of action of accelerating the healing process. And uh, this product was approved for severe burns, for the treatment of non-healing diabetic ulcers, and for every type of open wound condition. Just a remarkable technology uh, that became one of the number one wound care technologies in hospitals all over the world. The next vertical market they went into was veterinary medicine. And they created a product called Ace Manin Immunostimulant. And uh, it was used for the treatment of various types of cancers, tumors uh, in animals. Just a powerful immunomodulating molecule. And then the next technology they developed was for humans. And uh, this was the first advanced integrative healthcare technology using Ace Manin developed in 1993 by Dr. Rodriguez, and it was the first Ace Manin dietary supplement for human use. Research uh, on this incredible technology 
uh, followed. And Carrington did over $100 million worth of research on Ace Manning and Ace Manning Technologies. They determined it had various mechanisms of action in the human body. First of all, it was absolutely essential for the structure and function of every cell in the human body. Secondly, found that Ace Manning also supported really, really good gut health. And then the last thing they discovered is the, de the desired effect that everyone that was looking at Ace Manning was after is how do you modulate the immune system? And they found that it did that through what is called macrophage activation. I'll talk a little bit more about that in just a moment. It's interesting to know that each one of these separate mechanisms of action was directly linked to the molecular weight of the Ace Manning molecule. Because in aloe vera gel, these polysaccharides existed in a very wide variety of molecular weights, all the way from 5,000 Daltons to 5 million Daltons, these long strings of carbohydrates. Let's talk about the very short chains. It was determined that short chains of Ace Manning, below 50,000 Daltons, so they're very, very short chains, are necessary in human physiology to create what are called glycoprotein structures. And so if the molecular weight is below 50,000, there's actually pump sites on your intestinal walls looking for mannose. Sucks in the mannose, puts it into the bloodstream, goes to the liver, and the liver starts the process of glycoprotein structures. And then these little structures of mannose are released back into the bloodstream and every cell of your body has receptor sites that take these mannose glycoproteins in and helps develop all glycoprotein structures in each cell. So what do glycoprotein structures do? Well, there's a lot of things. They're your zip code. They identify, again, the structure and function of the cell. But one of the main immune functions that it supports is recognition. So on this slide, it shows how glycoprotein synthesis actually supports cell-to-cell -cell communication. All biological data is transferred through these glycoprotein structures. And as it applies to immunology, this is how it works. As you see in the picture, the immune cell touches the surface of cells and asks three questions. Are you me and are you okay? Are you me and are you damaged? And if it detects self and damaged self, it orchestrates repair. The third thing it asks is, are you not me? Do you not belong in the body? And it detects it as a foreigner, then it orchestrates destruction. So that's an incredibly important function that mannose and these ace manning molecules help support in human physiology. Now, why is that important? Because on this slide, it says what we've discovered in science is that missing sugars spell disaster. In other words, when sugars are missing from the cell surface glycoprotein structures, we see it manifest itself into degenerative and autoimmune type functions. Sugars are missing, all of a sudden, the immune cell doesn't recognize that cell as self anymore because the message is not complete. So it's not a malfunctioning immune system that causes this phenomena. It's a perfectly functioning immune system, not recognizing your own cells as healthy self. You know, it's kind of interesting that uh, mannose occurs in two things in nature at very high levels. One is aloe vera gel, of course. The other is human breast milk. Now, this is interesting. I find this fascinating that when a woman becomes pregnant, she has the ability of converting high levels of glucose into mannose in her liver. And then that mannose is then pumped out through the bloodstream through the umbilical cord into the fetus, and that is necessary for the development of that child. Once the child has been birthed, that production of mannose transfers to the mammary glands, and breast milk is full of mannose, which again is essential for the proper structure, function, and immune functioning of human physiology. Now, here's what I find interesting. Science has shown that Select immune conditions oftentimes go into remission when a woman becomes pregnant. Why is that, do you think? Well, because high levels of mannose all of a sudden, all of a sudden show up in her bloodstream, which again are absolutely essential for a proper functioning immune system. 
Next, we go to what have they determined about the long chains of mannose in the millions of Daltons? Well, they're used for proper gut health. Long chain polysaccharides of Ace Manin are used to feed friendly bacteria in the gut. So they are what is called a prebiotic, food for friendly bacteria. Only unlike most fiber, which is a prebiotic, this unique structure actually gets converted by friendly bacteria into what are called short chain fatty acids. And short chain fatty acids are absolutely essential for supporting healthy growth of epithelial cells which line your gut. And so you need a healthy gut because that's almost where all disease starts is improper gut health. So long chains of mannose, absolutely essential for proper gut health. And then finally, they found that somewhere between these little bitty short chains and these great big long chains were the polysaccharide structures that actually activated and modulated the immune system. It's called macrophage activation. What's a macrophage? It's a large white blood cells that are made in the bone marrow. They regulate all immunomodulating functions of the immune system. They facilitate wound healing and infection control. They serve to detect and eliminate any foreign antigens and microorganisms. And macrophages are activated again by these medium chain polysaccharides called ace manin. You know, all of this science that I'm referring to uh, is all published and peer reviewed. And uh, probably the best meta analysis of all of it that I've seen is in this book, The Science Behind Allo. Uh, it is a meta analysis of over a hundred peer reviewed published studies showing mechanism of action of aloe vera, ace manin, integrative health support mechanisms, and safety and efficacy. You know, there's been over 700 peer reviewed papers published on ace manin. Again, making it one of the most studied molecules in nature. So here's an overview of some of the research findings on ace manin. It enhances macrophage activity as much as tenfold. So you get 10 times the impact in your immune system. It enhances stem cell production and proliferation three to 400%, which is critically important in the recovery process in the human body. Speeds up wound healing as much as 35% over normal physiology. Supports antiviral, antifungal, antibacterial defenses in the body. It aids in the absorption of nutrients and water in the GI tract. It supports proper vascular flow. It supports proper cognitive function and enhances recovery from exercise and performance. And again, this is just an overview of many of the benefits that come with Ace Manin. Well, nothing really changed for the next 25 years after the discovery and the stabilization of Ace Manin until 2005. And in 2005, this paper was published and uh, it was a group of researchers out of South Korea looking at these medium chain ACE manin molecules and saying, where does the immune activation you know, of macrophages actually occur? Because that's a pretty wide variety of molecular weights between 50,000 and millions. And they found and discovered what is now known as ACE manin's sweet spot. So as you can see on the title of the paper, it's called identification of optimal molecular size of modified allopolysaccharides with maximum immunomodulatory activity. And so what they did is they broke up ACE manning into various fractions, 50,000 Daltons, 100,000, 150, 200, 300, 400, all the way up into the millions. And here's what they found. There's only a very narrow range of these molecular weights that are responsible, again, for macrophage activation. They end up running from 50,000 Daltons up to 400,000 Daltons. Anything below, anything above, have minimal capacity for supporting proper immune function. Dr. Rodriguez at that point went back into the lab and looked at his original product called Manipo. And he found that of the solids, you know, in aloe vera gel, about 10% was ace manin. And of that 10%, about 40%, actually fell into that range of 50,000 to 400,000 Daltons. So about 40% of the total ace manin in the product actually achieved the desired effect. 
So he went back into his research and developed a whole new process for stabilizing and extracting ace manin. And again, this is 25 years later, so the technology is much more advanced. And here's what he came up with. He came up with a product that has almost twice the total ace manin per gram, but look at the green bar, almost four and a half times more immune activating fractions of ace manin per gram. That was just a revolutionary discovery. What did he do with that? He donated it to our hope movement uh, here at Evolve so that we could take this technology throughout the world, make it available to consumers all over the world who were looking for the best immune support. And at the same time, because of our buy one, give one strategy of social business, we could make this same technology available to the world's most vulnerable children, which is exactly what we do. So. We call this product Evolve Immune. It supports proper structure function. It supports the best gut health. And more than anything else, it supports macrophage activation. Well, that's our opinion, of course, and that's what science says. But how do you know that everything that I'm saying represents the most advanced technology in science? Well, I'm just gonna close with this slide because I think this says it all. In uh, June of 2019, Immune, and immune-containing hemp oil was picked by this organization called Dream for the Cure Cancer Research Foundation. They specialize in immunotherapy research. And let me just read a quote from the founder. She says, our search for the most scientifically advanced technologies for optimal immune and endocannabinoid system support led us to Evolve Health. Their unique Immune modulating aloe vera ace manin technology represents the best science I found for immune system support. When combined with highly bioavailable broad spectrum hemp oil, it provides an unprecedented integrative health strategy. Our plan is not only to incorporate these products in our research, but also to encourage our supporters to consume them as a key part of their own wellness initiatives. So what is integrative health? Integrative health is defined as combining the best of modern medicine with the best nutritional support to provide best patient outcomes. And here's what immunotherapy does. It is the cutting edge of cancer research. What we've recognized in science is the most powerful mechanism on earth for fighting cancer actually is the human body. So what immunotherapy is doing is it's designing and cloning antibodies that help the immune system detect and destroy cancer cells more effectively. Again, it's without the use of radiation or chemotherapy or any other type of toxic solution. I mean, it is just incredible what they're achieving. But here's the biggest challenge with immunotherapy. It's directly related in terms of its efficacy to the capability of the immune system of the patient to perform. And so what they were looking for is how do we raise the level of immunology in all of our patients to maximize the effects of immunotherapy? That's why they were looking for the best technology. That's what they found in us. Okay, I hope this helps you understand the unique technology that we have developed and that we have access to. And I think it will change your life just like it will change the lives of children all over the world. Thank you.